Tonight, a family is suing SciFair ISD over their daughter's educational needs. Grace Jester has serious health issues and as a result, misses a lot of class time. Her parents believe a special ed designation will help her tremendously. So here's the catch. Grace excels academically. She's a straight A student, mm -hmm. but her parents say that only tells part of the story. Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer is live tonight at Cy Ranch High School. And Bill, you're learning Grace has been dealing with this for years. Chris and Dominique, that's exactly right. It, the fact is that young Grace has been battling severe physical problems since she was a baby, and those problems cause her to miss a ton of class time. For that reason, her parents say she deserves and has a right to be designated a special education student. At least seven doctors say she deserves that as well. But so far, SciFair ISD has said no. She's getting enough help already. It can either be zero or it can be M.A. Sitting at her computer, 17-year-old Grace Jester looks like any other Cypress Ranch High School student. This is physics. Uh, right now, we're working with forces and uh, kinematic equations. In fact, Grace is an exceptional student with a 6.7 grade point average, a stellar class ranking, and she's a member of the National Honor Society. But that's only one part of Grace's story. At my worst point, I did not want to go to school at all. Like, I wanted to drop out. I can't remember a time that I haven't had a headache. So um, every day I'm just exhausted and in pain. While she may look perfectly normal on the outside, on the inside, Grace suffers from a whole list of serious chronic disorders, including chronic head, neck, and back pain, spinal cord damage caused by a large cyst on her spine, systemic muscle weakness, chronic fatigue, and generalized anxiety disorder. They're, you know, holding her brilliance against her. What we've been asking for is for them to give her any of the missed instruction when she misses school to let the teachers help her get caught up and they outright just refuse. For years now, the gestures have been fighting SciFair ISD to have Grace classified a special education student so she can get special one-on-one -on -one time with her teachers to make up for all the class time she misses. Student attendance history in 2019, how much school did she miss? Grace missed 41 days. Grace misses so much school, her parents want the district to make that up to her. But so far, SciFair has refused to grant that special education designation to her. Channel 2 Investigates has asked SciFair officials for an interview, but they would only send us a statement. It reads, Grace has been identified by CFISD as a student with a disability and has received accommodations under Section 504. Grace's accommodation plan has numerous supports, a nurse or counselor at any time, the ability to postpone a test, the ability to stop the clock while testing, and receive extended time on original or makeup classwork. As for Grace, she says simply, I need help. Please don't use my success in school against me. I feel like if I were failing, they would be a lot more open to giving me the things that I need. It's bringing me to a breaking point. <laughs> Now, ironically, Grace's parents and their lawyer have a hearing with school officials starting tomorrow morning. Now, if you are going through a similar battle with your school district over your child, here's what experts say you need to do. You need to request in writing a special education evaluation for your student. If that doesn't work, you need to request an in-person hearing along with your student and officials. If that doesn't work, you need to get letters and official diagnoses from the student's doctors. And if none of that should work, you may need to hire a special education advocate to help you fight. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Keep us posted, Bill.